In this example problem, we're told that a piece of metal is 2 centimeters by 2 centimeters by 6 centimeters. So it might look something like this. It's a rectangular shape. And we have 2 centimeters on one side, uh, 2 centimeters on another side, and then the long side is 6 centimeters. And we're told to find the density, and then using that we can identify the type of metal. So here's the calculation. First, let's find the volume. Well, the volume of a rectangular solid like this is just the length times the width times the height. So this is going to be 2 centimeters times 2 centimeters times 6 centimeters. And you can do that in your head. 2 times 2 is 4 times 6 is 24. So that's 24 cubic centimeters. That's the volume. Then the density is mass divided by the volume and we're told that the mass is 65 grams. So we have 65 grams divided by 24 cubic centimeters. And you pull out the calculator and do 65 divided by 24 and you get 2.7. So it's 2.7 grams per cubic centimeter. That's the density of this particular piece of material based on the information given. And then you can go back and look in the table and see that that matches the density for aluminum. In this problem we have to find the density of two different materials and find which one is more dense. So material A, let's calculate the volume here, and that's pretty easy. We're, we're told a one foot by one foot by two foot block weighs 152 pounds. So the volume is just one foot times one foot times two feet. And that's easy. One times one times two is two, and that's two cubic feet. So once we know the volume and the mass, we can calculate the density. The density is mass divided by volume, and the mass in this case is in pounds. 152 pounds divided by 2 cubic feet and that comes out to 76 pounds per cubic foot. Now material B, the volume for material B is 1.5 times 1.5 times 1.5 and we multiply that out and that comes out to 3.375 and all of those measurements are in feet. So this is 3.375 cubic feet. And so the, the density is mass divided by the volume and we're told it's 277 pounds. So 277 pounds divided by 3.375 cubic feet and again we pull out the calculator to do that and that comes out to 82 pounds per cubic foot. So we see that material B is more dense.